Hey, welcome to Not So Cheap Build series. This is episode four. If you haven't seen episode one to three, please go back to my channel and check it out. This is about a build um, that I am terming not so cheap, but it's probably going to be not so cheap. <laughs> it's a 1975 Bronco. I'm taking two Broncos and putting it into one. So I'm in the first stages of taking apart the first Bronco and preserving as much as I can so I can rebuild it. Uh, I'm going to try not to spend money on it, but of course there are certain things that are a requirement. I'll keep track of that and I'll tell you how much that is at the end, but please keep track of it. Thank you for your support. Leave a thumbs up. Also tell other people about this channel, Stylish Grease Monkey. Let's go on to episode four. Just a recap of uh, episode three and what I did. I took off the steering column the steering box, the uh, power brakes unit, and a few other things here. I also was able to take out the wiring harness from the inside and the engine, and also was able to take out both seats. Uh, what I didn't film is that I unbolted this whole thing, which half of it anyways, from the frame and it's ready to be lifted off. But before I do that, I would like to assess what I need to remove carefully, like I said, and then paste it on the body of that Bronco right there. So I'm gonna uncover that one, make a plan on how I should cut the body or take it off, such as the striker right here, I need that. I also need the striker right here on this side. And then the um, like running guards on that side. Uh, anyways, there's a lot of things that I need to do. So I'll just kind of show it to you and hopefully be able to cover a lot on this episode. I guess the first order of business today is to take off the tank because it's attached to the um, the bed of the truck. I tried to empty it out, but it's shallow, so my uh, vacuum pump is not working. We'll see then. Classic Broncos have two tanks, one forward located underneath the driver's seat and then one back aft and uh, of course there's two um, gas caps on it. The 1977 has a flip type and the, the rest have this kind of gas cap right here. I'm taking apart, taking down the rear, I'm sorry, I'm taking down the front because the rear is already gone. Taking apart a Bronco front tank, there's two straps that holds it, and depending on who, who worked on it, but the uh, two bolts on the rear side you gotta take off and then it should come down. This has fuel in it, so I gotta be careful. Looks dangerous, but nobody died. <laughs> it's off. Okay. 
as much as I'm excited to take this thing apart, I gotta take my time uh, because I don't want to damage anything, obviously. It uh, doesn't matter how rusty it looks, but I can still use it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start with this uh, striker post right here. I'm gonna use all kinds of tools, cutting wheel, plasma cutter, saw saw, whatever have you, and uh, we'll see if we can take them off. As rotten as that may look to you, I'll be able to use that. That's gold in my opinion. Get some work to do. So check this out real quick guys. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to tilt this. You know, from the years of work on Broncos, I know that the panels are layered, right? different layers, different scenes. And, you know, if you already have a Bronco that's whole, obviously you want to take it apart just to do it. I'm not doing a concourse restoration. I'm doing a restoration, but I want to replace rusted parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it to where I think I will paste it on the other one. Even though I'm just cutting it, I'm going to go and line them up because I'm going to line it up. I don't want to just cut and it's all uneven. Give a little bit of allowance. prevent dust from flying everywhere and then rust in my nose I gotta clean it as I go along all right friends that the tunnel the transmission tunnel is off um, and like I said before I was gonna try to be as careful as possible but it uh, looks like I nicked the transmission but it, it's not bad right this stupid thing right here nicked the transmission so I had a couple of skinned wiring but the good news is this transmission is exactly the same one as the other vehicle so scratches there wiring exposed I can fix easy day 
remove this and continue to dismantle this whole thing. Yep. It is getting bare and bare. Here's all the parts. <laughs> I'm determined to get this off of it, off of the fr frame today. That's the goal. Maybe another hour or two. Yeah. I certainly made a mess, but reached our goal. Our, mm, but we have reached our goal for today, and I think I'm pretty happy with the progress. I now have access to the engine tranny transfer case and the frame. Right, so I was looking for the serial number for the engine, which is right there. That way I can order the seals, gaskets, and things like that. But before I do that, like I said, I'll do a compression test. See if the engine is good to go. If the compression meets the minimum standards or, you know, the maximum that it can meet, then I will reuse this motor, just reseal it. This transmission is going to get a rebuild. It's just because I don't want to get that in here when it's done. Do a little bit of damage right there with the saw saw but that Bronco over there has an automatic as well C4 just like that one and I think I'm gonna take a look at that and use it anyways guys I'm gonna clean up here I think I'm done for today um, what else uh, there's supposed to be a serial number on this side of the frame but because it is so rusty I don't think I'll be able to see it but I'm gonna clean it off here and see what I can find I think I put on a good amount of time in this Bronco today uh, for episode 4 we're going pretty fast after I take the motor and the engine out of this one I am probably going to get rid of the rolling chassis because I don't need it but I still have a few things I want to take off uh, and then I will pull the other one out, take the body off, and then start the actual work of putting it all together from there. So, how exciting, and thank you for keeping track of this. More to come. That's all I have for you this week. Aloha.